This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Dive Deeper into Apple Motion 5.3. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a custom preset for Motion. For the first couple weeks that we learn Motion, we're going to be creating exclusively Motion projects. So to create a Motion project, you select it. The most important section is over here. These are the presets, and we have lots of options from very small to very large and plenty of things in between. We have plenty of options for the frame rate, and we also can make the duration anything we want. For today, I'm going to create broadcast HD 720 because that works fine for the purposes of training. And I'm going to change the frame rate from its default of 59.94 to 30 frames a second. The web does not care about frame rate. You can use whatever frame rate you want for the web. Broadcast and cable care desperately. DVDs care. But the web doesn't. So we could select anything. I like 30 because it's a nice, easy number to remember. And when I click open, motion starts. Except, I really don't want to have to do that all the time. I'd like to have a default preset that allows me to skip that whole step. Go up to Motion, go down to Preferences, and click the Presets option. These are all the built-in presets. The lock indicates it's developed by Apple and cannot be deleted. No lock means it's created by me and can be deleted. I want to use the Broadcast HD 720 preset, but I don't want it to have a frame rate of 5994. I want that width and height and aspect ratio, and you always, always want field order set to none, which means you're creating a progressive image. Never, ever create interlaced for anything you're doing for the web. Broadcast, yes. Web, always progressive. But not that frame rate. So what I'm going to do is select the preset I want to modify and click Duplicate. Select the duplicated copy and click Edit. I'm going to change this, just give it a new name. The name could be anything. You could call it Fred. But I'm going to just say that it's 72030. And I'm going to change the frame rate to 30 frames a second. I am not saying that 30 frames is the best possible frame rate of anything you can pick. But 30 is a whole lot easier to say than 29.97. So we're going to go with 30 and click OK. And notice there's a checkbox here. That checkbox means that it's the default preset. So click this. Close that, go up to Motion, Command-N, and look at there. It's already loaded my default, which means as soon as I see the project browser, if I'm not going to change any of the preset settings, I could either just press the Open button, press the Enter key, or my favorite, double-click Motion project. It automatically puts the project browser away and opens Motion, and poof, I'm ready to work without having to do anything else. That is a lot faster way to get started. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a deeper dive in Emotion 5.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 216. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.